Hey YouTube, it's Courtney. I don't have a prepper name like most uh, prepper YouTube channels. You hear them announce their name in the beginning um, because this is actually my first prepper video. I am, um, I'm only doing this just because I get on YouTube and I try to look for new things and I notice sometimes most everything on YouTube is, is the same thing over and over just done by different people which is great because some people explain it better and then some people add into other things that others didn't but my point in doing this video is to show you guys a few things that I uh, have not seen very much on YouTube at least not on YouTube I've seen a few things on um, like a Google search but not actually on YouTube but uh, so just uh, hopefully people will get some valuable information from this and some people might not so just let me know what you think um, okay so your starting material uh, is just a few straws just uh, doesn't really matter what kind of straw I had these on hand the little flexible kind just because my son uses them um, I just use this plate because I don't want to burn my counter scissors uh, whatever kind of lighter and I use iodized sea salt um, because iodine is uh, a necessary ingredient, as it says. Uh, that and along with magnesium, those are one of the two most efficient things people have or are deficient in, excuse me. Um, but actually to kind of give you a heads up on what I'm doing here, I'm making individual packets of let's salt, you can do pepper, you can do like see back here I have my chia seeds um, you can do uh, flax seeds it's just apples but what I'm doing is just making individual packs because I'm doing individual MREs not big family pack of MREs I wanted to do something that was going to uh, season whatever I need right then and there um, so Hope you like it. Let me know. Let me uh, set this down here so I can... Sorry, I don't have a tripod or anything. I'm just working with what I have here. <laughs> Makeshift. Sorry, it's all... Okay. So, first thing you want to do is uh, you want to start with a regular straw. Uh, I always cut off the neck if you have the little bendy neck part. I cut it off and cut off about, let me see if you can see, about that much um, just to give you an idea and you want to save this piece you can throw away the little bendy part, it doesn't matter, you can keep it, whatever you want to do with it you're not going to need it for this so, I'm going to show you I'm going to go to the bendy part, I'm going to cut right below it and then I'm going to save that, put that in my little bowl, my catching uh, bowl and then I'm going to go and cut off about about that much and then like I said throw this away save that all right now I have a few that I've already done and this is what the final product looks like let me see if you can see it it's uh I don't know if you can it's got salt in it but I'll show you how to to make that but that's the final final product darn it I shouldn't have messed with the camera anyway all right Let's go. Here we go. So we're going to heat up the bottom end of the straw. So you just want to heat it up, roll it around, press it into something, and press down. And you're just going to seal it up that way. Like that. And you're basically sealing it up because you're going to fill this with salt. And all I did was heat it up press it down into the little black bowl I have here and then push this on top to kind of seal it up because I don't want to touch it with my hand. If you have gloves or something you can use that. Um, then I use my plastic cup just because it's very pointed and I notice my glass one kind of spills salt all over the place so I'm going to use this one just simply because it works better for me. You know if you have a little funnel or whatever you can you can use that but I want to just fill this up tap it down a little bit and with doing that it helps settle it 
and I'm kind of OCD about how I like things so I try to keep the flat piece here and the flat piece here rather than having it turned but uh, you want to give yourself about that much room at the top I don't know if you can see that about that much room and uh, then you want to take that you want to fold it in you'll create sharp edges on the side and that's okay because you're going to work with the uh, straw and bend it how you need to but you want to do it like like we used to do in school with the uh, airplanes you want to bend it forward then you want to grab your spare straw pieces and it, it's real simple you just slide it over the top here and see since this is round and this is now sharp you you're gonna have to work with it a little bit and once you work with it get it on get it exactly as far down as you want I don't know if you can see in there and that in that piece in there is open so now what you're gonna want to do is after you get it all sealed up you want to then seal it up again so you want to light the end roll it around flatten it out and I mean it doesn't have to be pretty at least I don't care if it is um, you want to check it inspect it make sure there's no holes in it no salt came out and that's it that's how you do a little individual pack of of salt or pepper you can do your Tylenol in there I personally don't take Tylenol or anything like that. I, I have herbs and stuff that I use. Um, beaver few, skull cat, stuff like that. But anyways, uh, put them in a bag until you get ready to use them. Put them in your MREs, whatever you want to do with them. But it's real simple. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you like it, um, give it a thumbs up, share it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thanks.